Hey guys, welcome to Equestrian Connections. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my barn bag video. And so I basically have two barn bags, but like one of them only has one thing in it. So I'll start with that bag. Okay, so it's basically just like this bag, whatever. And in this bag, literally all I carry in here is my tall boots. So. So next I have my main barn bag, which is just an Adidas duffel bag. Um, I really want the Noble Outfitters bag, but like I kind of don't find a point in it because maybe I can fit my saddle pads in it, but like I really need to fit my saddle pads in my bag because I hate carrying stuff and saddle pads are like big, so I don't want to carry it. But I do keep my saddle on the rack upstairs so until I get to rent a tack locker. Oh yeah, so <laughs> the first thing in my barn bag is just this crop. This is the crop I have the crop I use, obviously. And it's a really nice crop and it's pretty short, which is good. I like short crops. I can't use a long crop unless it's a massage with. And it works really well. And yeah, I normally don't have to use it, but like um, I usually just carry it just in case. Well, it depends on what horse I'm riding, but yeah. And I know that a lot of people are like against crops or whatever, but I'm personally okay with them. I feel like they're not abuse towards the horse if you use them in the correct way. So that's my crop, a little too much. Oh yeah, also this part right here, the little, this stick part, I guess is brown and then the tip is black leather it's a really nice leather and then the grip the handle is like really nice so yeah i really like that crop um i know a lot of people in my barn have the same exact crop but the next thing in my barn bag is the helmet that i am currently using it's really dirty but yeah so that's it's just black it has a lot of ventilation front and the back and it's just a really good helmet and I highly recommend it although I don't remember the name and then next I have okay, my barn shoes <laughs> so those are those they're really just these really comfortable slippers and I really like them a lot I wear them around the barn all the time because <laughs> I only wear my towel beats when I'm riding obviously so like once I'm in the cross ties and I'm um, like about to start unpacking, I just switch into those. So next I have my half pad in here. It's by Ovation, right there. And it's really nice. It's sheepskin, full sheepskin. And so like up here it has sheepskin. I was gonna get the one with the wither relief right here, but I decided to get this one. Um, I don't really ride horses that are like really that necessary to use them that often. So, yeah, a sheepskin in the back, and I really like it. It's really pretty as well. And then it has the belt straps, obviously, which are disgusting. But, yeah, so it's, this is the brand thingy if you want it. <laughs> Violation. And I highly recommend it. And then this is the inside. It does have a... Elizabeth is facetiming me while I'm making this video, so she's just gonna be quiet. <laughs> so my half pad, it does have a spine relief though. Like everyone's gonna say that's not a spine relief, but since it hey does, guys. okay, that's Liz. Um, so with this, she's actually gonna film the same video today. But with this, it basically. And my video is gonna be what we bring to the barn. Yeah. So this has like a really thick layer of sheepskin in the inside, as you can see, it's really thick. And it's full of sheepskin and it's so soft. I love it. I could literally sleep on it. But it's they ha it has this inside because obviously you can use it as a half pad on top of your saddle pad. Or you could use it on bottom of your saddle pad and then use your saddle pad on top. But yeah. So it's a really, really good half pad. I highly recommend it. And it's really thick. And it's really good on their withers on their spine. If yours, your horse has some spinal problems or whatever or you just don't want to or wither, wither problems or whatever, and it really needs some wither release pads and stuff or whatever. 
you can get the weather relief one it's not that much more i think it's 92 95 and then this one was 90 i think so it's really not yeah and if you're looking for a half pad you that one and so the wither relief is like a sheepskin cutout up here so yeah and it has sheepskin around the edges so it's still really soft on them and it works amazingly um you can get the pony size which is for up to 15 to 15 and 3 4 saddle or the medium or large you know you probably know your half pet sizes but yeah it's a really nice half pet and it's held up really well and surprisingly the sheepskin hasn't gotten too dirty it still looks kind of white i guess and next in my barn bag there's this little secret pop pocket here in the inside and i never really noticed it but i just keep money in there for the barn i really wish my barn had like food but it only has food at shows and that sucks because i never eat before i go to the barn but next i just carry in a water bottle in here i always bring a water bottle before i go to the barn but just in case i forget or something and during the summer camp if i really need some water then i just have this water bottle or someone else needs water and yeah i'll just wait till i get home to get a new one and the next thing i have i think that's the last thing in this pocket the big pocket <laughs> is this navy a uh, saddle pad from Dover, as you can see, with a white piping and a light blue trim. And yeah, this is just the last saddle pad that I used. And as you can see, this is the last saddle pad that I used. Um, it's really dirty, but I'm going to use a different one, obviously, the next lesson. So yeah, it, this is just in there. And as I told you guys, I really hate carrying saddle pads because they're so big and stuff. And I hate carrying anything to the barn, so that's why I keep that in there. And I just fold it, and as you can see, it's not like it's creased or anything. You can just fold it once and put it in there, which is why I really like that bag, because it's really big and spacious and stuff. So, yeah. And next... Okay. Oh, okay. So next, in this pocket, the side pocket... I carry my riding gloves, which I don't have on me right now. They're actually in my room, but I just have Roku gloves, I think. Yeah. And um, I keep the little hotties hand warmers in here. I always buy them at the shows. So, like, yeah, they work really well, and I highly recommend those as well. And I highly recommend my gloves, but they're only summer gloves, really. I use them for the winter. But they're really supposed to be summer gloves because like, they're really thin. Oh, actually, my gloves are in here. So, um, yeah. They're just these Roko gloves. And they have, yeah, Roko right there. And they have really good ventilation in the front, obviously, which is why they're summer gloves. And it's some really good quality leather on the bottom. And I highly recommend these gloves, especially for riding. So, yeah, those are these. And then, um, right here, I just have, okay, why is this one brown? Oh, I just have the last little hotties that I used. I have, like, more packs in here that aren't used, but, yeah, basically those. And I highly recommend them. They work amazing. And then I just have, like, goldfish in here. I always like to carry food somewhere in my bag to the barn. It's always helpful. And then, oh, one second. Sorry, this wasn't in my barn bag right now, but usually is. Um, I have winter riding gloves. I don't know why. I never use them. But I think they're by SSG. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're by SSG. But sometimes I like to ride with these because they're digital. See? And they have a grip here. And they're actually really good for riding. They're by head. It's a really good glove to run. And these are my winter gloves, although I have... Or I didn't winter gloves, but I don't know why I never use them. So, yeah, they're just in gray, and I highly recommend these gloves. They're not just riding gloves. They're not even meant for riding, but a lot of people actually use them for riding, and they're really good. Liz has them, too, in purple. So, yeah, Elizabeth really likes them, too. And then next, I just have, like, this beanie in here because it's winter, and I don't want to freeze myself to death, although I never wear it. And I usually don't even wear my winter gloves. I just wear my summer gloves in the winter. So, yeah, just so I can get frostbite and die. And I... And also, that's awesome. <laughs> you can use the head one. I don't know if I can just 
Oh yeah, I showed them mine. But and I also told you that Elizabeth has the purple ones, so yeah, she's yeah. gonna start using them soon. She just got them, but yeah, I've always used them and I highly recommend them. And they're also digital, and I'm always on my phone while riding, so they help me a lot. I showed them my summer ones, and then I have the SSG winter ones. They're the same ones as Eliza has. I have the SSG winter ones, which are upstairs. And I have my spare helmet, which is in my other rider bag. So, yeah. And then this is just my boot bag, as I showed you, because I don't wear my boots to the barn. I wear my barn shoes. So, and I just put them on before I ride. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's basically all that's in my riding bag. Um, in the summer, I have, like, a lot more, and, yeah, um, because I go to the summer camp at my barn, and, yeah, I just, like, carry a lot more things there, especially because they sell ice cream, so, well, I carry money in here, but, whatever, <laughs> um, I carry a lot more things in the summer, because I carry my grooming bag, um, I'm gonna do one of those videos, too, but in the summer, because I have a it's a lot more interesting in the summer. I don't have much things in there now. But in my grooming bag, I carry just my own fly spray and stuff, although I don't exactly own a horse yet. But it's just because the fly spray that's provided at my barn really doesn't work, and it annoys me because my horses keep acting up. Well, not my horses, but, like, the horses that I ride, they just keep acting up because of the flies, and they start kicking out, and it just gets really annoying. So I like to bring my own fly spray and show shooting and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um... Elizabeth is going to make her own, as I said, and I hope you enjoy both of them. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and this was a question.